the origins of tap dancing. Well, there's a lot of speculation on that. Uh, years ago, I had the pleasure, the great pleasure, of, of meeting and spending time with one of my boyhood idols, Gene Kelly. Uh, it was a thrill for me. And I, I got to go out to dinner with him, and I got to talk tap with him. And Gene said the Irish, and of course, I would say black folks. And we'd go back and forth. There's a lot of conjecture on it. Uh, what we know is that uh, uh, slaves who were not allowed to have drums uh, expressed themselves through dance in a percussive way, uh, moving and, and, and stomping and, and uh, just expressing what they felt that way. I mean, these, these rhythms and these moves were later incorporated into African dance, which, you know, we call gang gang in the studio, which is, you know, gang 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 gang. I'm not too good at it, but I... I like saying gang gang. Uh, Irish clog dancing was happening at the same time and there was like a blend. There was a blend that took place. This is the early 1800s. And uh, I know that in, in the mid-1800s, 1840, there was a great dancer, uh, William Henry Lane, uh, who was also known as Juba. He was a sensational dancer. Uh, uh, and uh, he, had, you know, he had been a slave and he was... He was a free man and he was dancing. Then there was John Diamond, who was a great clog dancer from Ireland. And these two men joined up and they would travel the country challenging each other with the dance and showing audiences both sides of dance. 